Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Middleware Techie and today we will see how we can use CPI Helper Chrome extension to trace our integration flow. We need to download CPI Helper Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. Go to the Chrome Web Store. Now go to the extensions and search for CPI Helper. So this SAP CPI Helper you need to install in your system. I have already installed it. Let's go to our integration suite. So the CPI Helper extension for SAP CPI is a valuable tool designed to enhance the user experience by providing advanced functionalities and improved accessibility. It allows us to efficiently manage and monitor integration flows with features like detailed trace and login which helps in identifying and resolving issues quickly. This extension also offers customizable views, code formatting and syntax highlighting, making it easier to read and edit scripts. Let's see how can we trace integration flow using this extension. So once you download the extension, you can see here in this extension. And once the extension got activated, you can see these options, logs, trace, messages, info and plugins. These options in our integration suite are visible because of the extension CPI helper. So I have created this simple integration flow where I have taken three content modifiers. The first one contains message body with this message hide there. The second one contains one message header, one exchange property and this message body. This first message is basically fetching details from the first content modifier and the second message is fetching message header and exchange property from the same content modifier. And again in this third content modifier there is message body only which is saying all is well. Now to, 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 now to trace this integration flow using our extension, what we need to do is click on this trace and now click on this deploy. You can see once we deploy, these options are available here. To trace the integration flow, what we need to do is we need to trigger our integration flow. So copy the endpoint. Copy this endpoint and go to our postman and send it. And here we got 200 OK as our response. Let's see how to trace it. Click on these messages here. And you can see all the logs are present in our extension itself. Click on this icon. This shows activate inline trace for debugging. So the CPI helper is nothing but the inline tracing method. As there are no error present in our integration flow, it's showing all in green color. So let's see what's there in first content modifier. We just need to double click on that content modifier. Here you can see all properties, headers. This body is empty right now. All the logs are present here and this information contains all the start time, end time and all the durations. Let's close it. Go to the second content modifier. In the body you can see this message is from the first content modifier. Go to this third content modifier. Check the body and here you can see we got the message from 
both the first and second content modifier and all the headers and properties are fetched successfully. Now go to the end step and here this all is values message from second content modifier. This is how you can trace your integration flow using extension called as CPI helper. If the error is present in integration flow, then it will show in red color and if there is no error, it will show in green color. So this is it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next session. Thank you.